what is replica set what is the use of it okay theo you raise your hand yeah theo go ahead so i think replica set is for high availability so whenever any port crashes it recreates another port okay uh, but so you get a replica set when you when you do a deployment so when you create a deployment it creates a replica set so that whenever any port dies within your cluster then it recreates another one so it's very good yeah, yeah. so very good but when we are answering to interviewer right uh, so we need to provide some meaningful content starting to end uh, whatever the content we are sharing right it should be meaningful to the interviewer to understand uh, whatever theo said that's absolutely correct uh, which means when we are answering a replica set means uh, it's one of the resources in kubernetes whenever we create deployment the deployment will ensure the replica sets are created actual purpose of the replica set is from the deployment the number of pods it's created right the replica set will make sure the pods are always available as the required pattern and size if anything happen to the pod right replica set is only the responsible person to always monitor the pod if anything goes down uh, uh, as, as per the given threshold, replica set will make sure the another part is get created in the deployment. This is the complete answer, meaningful answer. Okay, you guys need to answer in this way. Hmm? All right. Next question. What is the benefit of namespaces in Kubernetes? Yeah, Prakash, maybe you have go ahead. Uh, see, uh, namespace see there are two different things here. there is a cluster and there is there will be an application level uh, grouping okay mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's suppose say okay uh, first of all we will give the technical explanation then example like uh, we have a node uh, you know hardware uh, nodes that cannot be you know uh, that can be in the cluster but not be grouped together mm -hmm. but uh, this is the one which which we can group it uh let's suppose say um, uh, actually you know like uh, harry this this is is a more often you know like a theoretical explanation we have to give right like yeah. other is um, you know like a uh, grouping of application this is what i can able to say like okay maybe let's ask theo again theo you raised your hand maybe you can answer yeah so namespace is a logical logical container for mm -hmm. your cluster resources mm -hmm. and then when you create namespace for example you can create like you know production environment uh non-prod environment uat and all that and then you can assign permissions to that namespace so that uh <clears throat> the the cluster uh the namespace resources like you can assign permission on who we have access to that namespace Mm -hmm. okay and then also you can do things like uh resource quota mm -hmm. and resource limit mm -hmm. on the name on the namespace very good excellent awesome okay this is what exact answer okay so perfect so we'll go to next question so Harry, what will be your answer for this? Exactly the same, what Theo said. Okay, no, no, even one word I am not going to change. Exactly what he said, that's the answer of even mine. Okay. Okay. Namespace is the, uh, the purpose we use namespace in Kubernetes for logically grouping uh, resources. Depends upon my application or environment. Production, POC or uh, UAT, DAO, non-prod okay so or even in the application one application like we can uh, group the resources just for a yeah. good infrastructure we can yeah. this so, uh, the main, main thing right you can organize your resources you can give the user to you know uh, permission you can you have access to this namespace only not the space like that and we can even restrict the hardware 
now we can even assign some uh, memory and cpu restrictions quota and all it will be possible to assign when we have a namespace that's the answer okay what are the different services types available and what is their individual use and purpose if i am not wrong it should be 51 but we have seen something like uh, four five deployment we have seen oh so, sorry somebody has raised it yeah yeah arbas khan yeah arbas you go ahead yeah uh, services uh, we have discussed regarding uh, 3 to 4 right uh, cluster ip node pod load balancer very good. Not wrong. very good very good that's correct yeah go ahead yeah, cluster uh, cluster ip is for default uh, whatever mm -hmm. we create right it just could if we don't define any uh, services it will goes to a cluster ip and node pod uh, node pod i think node pod right node pod yeah. just con yeah node pod uh, it will combine with uh, node IP uh, plus uh, 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 port IP and then load balancer. Load balancer is for uh, whatever we provide load balancer, right? We'll be using that IP. Okay. So small correction, uh, whatever you said cluster IP, that is correct. Node port uh, followed by your node IP colon port number. Okay. okay. By the way, you can access your application. One last thing, load balancer. Load balancer specifically, you know, used and uh, uh, in cloud-based Kubernetes cluster, uh, where uh, when you create a load balancer-based service in your Kubernetes, which will give you a load balancer URL. Using that URL, we will access our application. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Just uh, appreciation is wrong. Sorry, I mean, uh, Fine. outcome is wrong. Yeah, Harry, yeah. Uh, I, Harry, actually, what is the question you asked? Like a uh, resource type or like what? Uh, what is yeah, the uh, key part? Services. 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 Okay. Okay. Fine. Prakash, your cluster is ready means uh, you set up all those things, uh, create deployment, all those things. We'll come and just. Yes. Double, uh. Okay. So, next question uh, What is the advantage of having our cluster in cloud based environment over or rather? in on-prem based environment. Yes, Theo, go ahead. So the advantage of having cluster in your cloud-based environment over on-prem, uh, one is uh, elasticity. Mm -hmm. So you can actually increase uh, your node size easily. You can scale your node depending on the type of load that you're having. And the scalability is also very possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the management of the cluster would be easier in terms of, you know, overhead. Okay. Uh, and then you can easily provision resources like, you, you know, on the go, like pay as you go for cloud. Okay. Or like for on-prem where you have to start ordering each of the hardwares and you know, all of those type of stuff. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so those are some of the answers that, that I could have comes to mind. Very good, very good. Anybody wants to add any more points on top of Theo's response? Yeah, there, yeah, go ahead. Uh, in uh, cloud Kubernetes, uh, um, we don't want to maintain that master well master done. cluster. Is well it? Done. Is well it done. correct? Well yeah, that is the main point. Very good. Go ahead. I'm not. Uh, I'm not uh, correct in that word. Yeah, that's okay. correct. Go ahead. Any yes, other? That is the point I want. Oh, okay. 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 Perfect. So when we come to uh, cloud-based Kubernetes cluster, we are master node. It's not our headache. Correct. Mm -hmm. So that's perfect. Anybody else wants to add any more point in this along with the Theo and the other re response? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll tell you. So along with this Theo and the other response, so when come to cloud-based Kubernetes cluster, adding and load balancer is quite simple. Okay, as long as, you know, whenever needed, we can easily add the, uh, what do you call, that specific 
uh, load balancer and uh, we can expose our application yeah uh, there are few set we have not discussed it but the future it will come uh, those are adding volume right it will be very much easy and adding uh, domain name to your application and adding ssl certificate to your application to load your service with https those are quite easy okay maybe those things and all we'll learn future okay future classes that's fine okay and uh, prakash let me know once you deployed code server okay oh, okay 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 meantime prakash deploying i'll ask uh, no, another question what are all the major kubernetes cli commands are being used in the in order to interact with the cluster and its resources okay theo again yeah go ahead theo yeah qcta create okay we create resources qcta run okay also create pod okay uh, qctl edit if you okay. want to edit anything mm -hmm. like replica set and increase the replica set to three or four uh qctl delete okay and then qctl describe very good oh uh, yeah those are the five i know okay perfect. all right any any other uh, wants to add any anybody almost he covered in everything sorry kubectl api resources oh okay yeah. and kubectl will apply to apply any yaml files apply and then kubectl kubectl config ah kubectl get pod ah yeah get so he covered on high level get the no need of you know a full extension just kubectl get create apply delete edit that's fine mm -hmm. okay create also like that's so yeah fine we'll go to next question so what is the difference between aws cli eks ctl tool cube ctl tool yeah arbas khan you raised your hand go ahead yeah. uh, aws cli is for uh, command line uh, i mean interface where we can use aws tools for aws cli mm -hmm. eks ctl is for creating cluster okay cube uh, ctl is for managing uh, cluster okay fine anybody else wants to add on top of arbas khan's input yeah very uh, i want to tell same what he told okay all right uh yeah resource handler returned the message uh, yeah akil when you get this error message right you can try in uh, different region change your region and try it creation of your cluster and uh, let me know the status maybe an, another question what is the architectural difference between docker and kubernetes yeah again theo raised hand yeah both are containers and like uh, uh, docker uh compared to docker kubernetes is uh, more flexible like uh, mm -hmm. having a cluster mm -hmm. cluster service um that's all um uh inside kubernetes we can have a docker mm -hmm. installed okay. okay fine all right theo yeah go ahead you want to add any more input yeah so docker has like a docker engine mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't have any orchestration tool kubernetes mm -hmm. has like orchestration tool that you can use to 
uh, build on top of Docker, top of the Docker engine. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hari, uh, here I have some doubt regarding Docker. Mm -hmm. I hope uh, we had a discussion on Docker Swarm. I mean, yeah. I think, did we have no, any no, discussion no. on Docker no, Swarm? We, we, we have not discussed anything about Docker Swarm. Okay, yeah. I guess, Josh, I just got a doubt on Docker Swarm. As we have discussed Docker, right? I thought we have missed our... Uh, is it a part of uh, our course or not? Mm -hmm. uh, what was the doubt in Docker Swarm? Come again? Yeah, just Docker Swarm, the, the word itself. I mean, uh, nothing. Docker Swarm, Docker Swarm has similar like our Kubernetes only, <laughs> but it's developed by uh, Docker organization. Okay. So it also has master node, author node concept. Uh, because you know the drawback of Docker, right? Uh, Control runtime. So that's why Docker Swarm came. It also works in the principle of Kubernetes. Sorry, it's in the works in the principle of uh, cluster based mechanism only. Okay, but uh, not widely used uh, as comparing Kubernetes. So that is why we are directly went to Kubernetes. Instead of reason, yeah, reason, what is the drawback that we don't so, use Docker Swarm? In Docker, it's not like a drawback. Uh, people write uh, command line perspective. Kubernetes is much more easier, user friendly. Okay, it's a scalable, reliable, and uh, you know provisioning the setting of the cluster is uh, quite easy. Command lines are available. APIs, uh, security wise, latest updates. Okay, uh, so due to all these uh, factors, right? Even in Docker Swarm, you can use only one container at a time, which is Docker. But Kubernetes is not like that. Uh, you can even use the Docker as a container at a time, or you can use RKT, whatever other stuff also, you can use it. Okay. <laughs>